Hello everyone. Our task for today is troubleshooting standard IPv4 access control lists. Here we got an addressing table in the scenario. This network is meant to have the following three policies implemented. Hosts from the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network are unable to access network 10.0.0.0 slash 8. L3 can't access any devices in network 192.168.0.0 slash 24. L3 can't access server 1 or server 2. L3 should only access server 3. Hosts from the 172.16.0.0 slash 16 network have full access to server 1, server 2 and server 3. No other restrictions should be in place. Unfortunately, the rules that have been implemented are not working correctly. Your task is to find and fix the errors related to the access lists on R1. Part 1. Troubleshoot Access Control List Issue 1. Hosts from the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network should not be able to access any devices on the 10.0.0.0 slash 8 network. Step 1. Determine the access list problem. As you can see, access list from 192 was not applied to any interface. Step 2. Implement a solution. To fix the problem, we apply access list from 192 to interface G0 slash 0 with the outbound direction. Step 3. Verify that the problem is resolved and document the solution. The problem is now solved. Part 2. Troubleshoot Access Control List Issue 2. L3 should not be able to reach Server 1 or Server 2. Step 1. Determine the Access List Problem.
as you can see, access list from 10 denies one wrong IP address into Devel 3. Step 2. Implement a solution. To troubleshoot this problem, we must remove the line for denying the wrong IP address first, then add deny host 10.0.0.2 before permit any line. Step 3. Verify that the problem is resolved and document the solution. The problem is resolved. Part 3. Troubleshoot Access Control List Issue 3. Hosts from the 172.16.0.0-16 network should have full access to Server 1, Server 2 and Server 3 but this is not currently the case, as L1 can't communicate to Server 2 or Server 3. Step 1. Determine the Access List Problem. As you can see, access list from 172 denied the IP address for L1. So L1 can't communicate to Server 2 or Server 3. Step 2. Implement a solution. The solution here is just removing the line denying L1.
Step 3. Verify that the problem is resolved and document the solution. Now the problem is solved. That's all. Thank you for watching.